It just seemed like yesterday to when the six foot eight highly talented forward solidified himself as one of the most complete high school basketball players in the entire country. From his exceptional shot creation abilities all the way into the craftiness that he's always had around the basket. Now even in the midst of all the great success he's experienced, it truthfully wasn't always that easy. In fact, he even thought about quitting altogether. But he's always had it in him to overcome all adversity. This is the Justin Edwards story. Justin Edwards was born on December 16, 2003 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. His mother, Ebony Marie Twiggs, was a stellar basketball player back in her day as she played college basketball at Cheney University, followed by her playing overseas in Portugal before suffering an ankle injury. Now later on, she would give birth to her daughter and decided to dedicate her life to raising her family, even though she had an offer to play professional basketball for the New York Liberty of the WNBA. Twiggs would even go on to work two jobs, Walmart during the day in the Einstein Hospital at night. And while raising her family, she would introduce Justin into basketball when he was in the second grade and it was her way of keeping him out of trouble in school as he was a struggling student who needed something to keep him focused. Now that would be the point to where he really started to fall in love with the game. And as he got older, he would start to develop into an on-court standout. But throughout his development, he thought about quitting basketball. And this was after his freshman year of high school while attending Imhotep Institute Charter High School. But his mother just kept pushing him to play and simply would not allow him to give up. Edwards even stated, my mother always told me to never quit basketball and always believe in myself. That's why I have learned nobody is going to believe more in you than you believe in yourself. I know my mother sacrificed a lot for me to be able to play basketball. That's why I'm still playing basketball. This is my way of paying her back all of this is for her. So as a sophomore, he helped lead his crew win the Philadelphia City Championship. And by the time his junior season came around, he was six foot five and 185 pounds. And for that season, he was able to put up 18 points and eight rebounds per contest while being able to lead the Panthers to the PIAA Class 5A State Championship. What really made his game stand out was his smooth and crafty type play style and the fact that he really put on display on a gamely basis his silky smooth jump shot from three and mid range. And also when he came at his defenders downhill, his athleticism to go along with his size made him capable of finishing over nearly everybody. By the time his senior season came around, he was already rated the number one small forward in the entire country according to ESPN in his class of 2023. As a a senior, Justin was able to put up 18 points and 8 rebounds per contest for the Panthers, but also was able to repeat as state champion on the exact same court that his mother was named most valuable player of the Philadelphia Public League Girls Championship game after she scored 20 points and grabbing 23 rebounds. Now following Justin's senior season, he was named Mr. Pennsylvania Basketball while being selected to play in the McDonald's All-American Boys Basketball game. The consensus five-star recruit had offers from schools like Kentucky, Kansas, Auburn, Tennessee, and Villanova, but also even considered playing basketball professionally in the NBA G League. But after long thought, he decided to sign a letter of intent to play college basketball at the University of Kentucky, joining an absolute freshman powerhouse, which now features some potential lottery picks of Reed Shepard, Rob Dillingham, DJ Wagner, and Aaron Bradshaw. Now coming into his freshman season, multiple outlets projected Justin as the fourth number one overall NBA draft pick under head coach John Calipari since 2010. But by the time conference play begins, some outlets don't even have Edwards in the first round. Currently, he is averaging nine points while shooting 46% from the floor and just 24% from three to go along with four rebounds and one steal all in just 24 minutes per game. But despite all the struggles that he's experienced recently, he really does have time to improve and really find his way on this stat Kentucky crew. Justin Edwards really grinded his way up into being an absolute stud at the high school level, but also turned into one of the most intriguing prospects coming into his freshman season at Kentucky. Now, as he continues to find his way and truly play his game, this Kentucky crew is going to need his presence as the season progresses. And despite his struggles so far, he really does have what it takes to be a plug and play player at the next level. They believe in me that like I'm a, it's, gonna, it's all gonna come together. That's what Coach Collins been telling me and just like to keep working.
I'm just like, I'm just the way I like push myself. So I always overcome little obstacles like that. So it's like, it ain't really bothered me that much. Uh, my family and always God, you know, without, without God and my family, I wouldn't be the person I am today. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Justin Edwards story.